It was, it was only a one line of run. But the whole time, I can hear him breathing really hard right behind my ears. And every time when I, I open up to, I open up for, for a full sprint, Danny was always behind me. I'm like, wow. He's actually keeping up with me. So we ran that one mile, and the whole time I, I was trying to lose him, it was actually right there, like my tail, like my tail. And then uh, when we got back home, where my house is, there's a street, it's a slight incline, so it's kind of like an L. And uh, Danny said, oh no, no, this is not over, Uncle Mike, I, I haven't beat you yet. And I'm like, oh, all right, kid, uh, what do you have in mind? Uh, all right, so we're going to sprint up and down the street, and when does take off? And I'm like, okay, so, you know, we, we line up, we count off, one, two, three. Guess who? Guess who jumped ahead of me? Danny, Danny won, and uh, we ran back. We jumped back, and I was like, "No, no, Danny, this is not over, Danny. Let's, let's do this one more time." I, I, I wasn't ready, so we, we ran. He beat me a second time, and then we did it one more time, and he beat me three out of three. For a young guy, the age of 15, beating a well-trained soldier of almost nine years. Danny would come over to my house and his aunt's house and we would, you know, spend a lot of time and this is a little video that he um, made with his aunt. And this is the, the things we do at home. Why it was 
Sam.